Uh, but time would be too easy if everything was in terms of time. What if your velocity was given as a function of s, as a function of position? All right, so if velocity was given in terms of time, and I'm asked to find acceleration, I just take the derivative. Uh, but if velocity was given in terms of s, uh, can I use this equation? I, I mean, no, I can't. You can't just take the derivative with respect to time when it, it has a different variable in it. Um, if it is only a function of s, we could do take the derivative with respect to s, uh, and we can kind of treat this like fractions. Um, and so I really want dv dt, right? Acceleration is dv dt. I want dv dt. I can, I can do dv ds. And how about we do ds dt right there? So, so our acceleration is dv ds times ds dt. All right, that's equivalent to this class due to separation of variables. All right, and so it's almost like these uh, cancel out. But what is ds dt? ds dt is velocity. All right, ds dt is velocity. So let me rewrite this as v dv ds. Acceleration is v dv ds. We've got a new equation that we can use when velocity is in terms of position. It's on your formula sheet already. You don't have to memorize it. This formula sheet is like a, uh, it's kind of like a toolbox. You've got these tools in your toolbox. You've got to know when to use the right tool, right? You don't want to be using a hammer when you should be using a wrench, okay? So we would use this equation if velocity was in terms of S. Uh, what about the next one? What if acceleration was in terms of S? What if acceleration was in terms of S? So it's kind of going backwards. How about we start with our new equation that we've got? Got a new equation, A equals V D V D S. Let me multiply through A D S equals V D V. And then I would take the integral of both sides. So integral A D S equals integral V D V. And that's that's on your formula sheet as well. So if acceleration term is in terms of S, it's still an integral to, to get to where we're going, to get to velocity but it's integral a d s equals integral v d v. Now, what is the integral of v with respect to v? d squared. d squared over two, yes. It's not just v, right? It's the integral of v, it's, it's integral of v to the one, right? You add one, to, you divide it by two. So this would be v squared over two. And I am going to make this definite a definite integral so that I don't have a constant of integration. Okay, and then one more. What if acceleration was given as a function of velocity? If acceleration was given as a function, so we're starting out right here at acceleration. I don't know exactly what we're trying to find, but we can't go any further down. Not exactly. Uh, so we'll, it's, we need to do an integral, right? We need to integrate. If we're given acceleration, we need to integrate. Uh, look at your formula sheet. Let me look at the formula sheet. So I know I need to integrate. Um, if acceleration was in terms of S, I would use that equation. If acceleration was in terms of T, I would use that equation. But if acceleration is in terms of V, what could we do? We can divide the A to the other side of the equation, and then we can integrate it with respect to V. Uh, we could do either of these equations. We could do either of these equations. Go back to our notes and write that. All right, we could use integral dV equals integral A dt, divide this over, so we would really be taking the integral of one over A. Right, we're taking the integral of one over a. So you gotta remember natural law, you gotta remember, okay, what if well we'll do some problems, but you know, 
V to the negative three power. You know, I mean, if we put it in denominator and take the integral of it, all right, add one to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. Or integral what uh, was our other one, V dV equals integral A dS, divide this over, so integral of V over A, integral V over A, integral the dS. Um, which one of these should we use? Which one of these should we use? Well, it just depends on the problem, right? If the problem says something about time or asks us after three seconds, then, then I'd use this one. Uh, but if the, the problem said after it travels, you know, 200 meters, then I would use this one. I would use this one. All right, let, 